Hey YouTube, it's Kevin. We are testing out towing a trailer with a Prius. So you're probably wondering, why would you tow a trailer with a Prius? And you do real estate, do you even need a trailer? Yes, <laughs> we do. There it is. Hold that thought, I'm backing up. Now before I answer the why, I'm sure you're wondering, why am I wearing a t-shirt? I'm usually Mr. Suit. I'm wearing my appropriate meet and done shirt today. It's true, a lot of agents have the impression that, well, all you should do is sell real estate. In fact, there's a saying that goes around, well, I don't build them, I just sell them. Not me. We do everything. So that way, when it's time to work on renovations and help coordinate flips or whatever it is we're doing, I can get dirty too. Oh yeah, and I've tried doing it before in my suit. Sometimes I do it anyway, but I've had to replace quite a few suit pants for doing this. And you won't end up like the fool who ripped his pants. All right, all right, I know. So the real question was, why would I want a trailer for real estate? I just, I just need to show up, right? Unfortunately, it's because there's a lot more to real estate than just showing up. See, sometimes it's easier for me to diagnose an electrical issue myself. So that way when I call a professional electrician, I can tell them exactly what the problem is, save time for my clients, which ends up saving my clients money. It also tends to get the job done sooner. See, if an electrician comes out to diagnose, they usually have to set up a follow-up appointment to actually do the work because maybe they don't know what parts they need. Well. If I diagnose, and I'm right often because I see this so many times, they know what to bring, they know how to solve it. Sometimes I can even just solve it. Okay, okay, okay. So why why would you want a trailer in real estate? Well, it's, it's not just for those oddball, I just washed this. Look at my face. It's, it's been diseased. Look at all this. We just washed this today, it's like, it got, it got impaled with a bunch of uh, shards of grass. This is why I need a trailer. <sighs> okay, so really, why do we need a trailer? Well, my employees will tell you, it's not uncommon for me to say, hey, go to this house, clean the toilets, straighten the screws on the switches, change a switch, weed spray the yard, uh, and then put up a sold sign while you're there, and if the sign's crooked, uninstall it and reinstall it straight because it's got to be perfect if you're gonna do it you may as well do it right so anyway you need tools to do that there's nothing more frustrating than going to a property and not having windex and paper towels or even spare rolls of toilet paper it looks horrible not to have toilet paper in the bathroom the worst part is somebody goes to the bathroom and doesn't realize there's not toilet paper i don't want to get the phone call from the next person going through the house that oh there's something wrong in the bathroom Always stock toilet paper. So you see, that's where this idea of a trailer came from. If we had one trailer pulled by a Prius, just a small one, and we had little light racks on the inside and had it all organized and we had essentially one of everything uh, and cleaning supplies or whatever we might need, then maybe we could just send one person to every property to kind of just do the rounds and double check everything and they got everything they need and at the same time we could put all of our photography equipment inside if we put all of our photography equipment in there and we had a solar panel charging the batteries that means everything would be charged all the time and anytime we needed to put a property on the market we could just come with the van fix any of the problems then take the photos because see you could load up all your photography equipment but if you don't have the tools to solve problems then you're taking pictures of stuff that has problems. And there's nothing worse than leaving a photography shoot to go get materials or go get cleaning supplies, stop the photography, stop the flow of everything to solve that. So the more efficient we can be, the better we can serve our clients. Coming along, coming along. Always leave a door when you're doing demo and you need a bathroom. You got, if you demoed all the doors, Fonzie. Wait, nobody's as cool as Fonzie. 
I'd probably the least most cool I thought. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, oh, oh. I did it! <laughs> Check it out. Right there, that's the meat and done van. <laughs> I like going to other people's flips because you can kind of learn, oh, okay, this is what they kind of cut corners on, and this is how we can make sure we don't cut those corners, and uh, we can provide a better product to the people who buy. Uh, because quite frankly, I, man, flips have a bad reputation, and sometimes it's because of the corners people cut. It's crooked. I like to cover this old junk. Whoa. Whoop. Look at that. Where do I feel more? Option one, I like it. Door, beautiful. Option two, it's okay. It's a lot smaller. What are you doing? Huh? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this maple tree is dying, or at least it always looks like it's dying, yet people just tell me it's going dormant but I don't really buy it. 